Bitcoin, BTC, is a lifeboat, says Michael Saylor, while Binance's Changping Zhao, CZ, warns that BTC could still stay below its all-time high for two years, and an adjunct professor of law calls the reports about Bitcoin's death exaggerated. Among the experts who have spoken out about Bitcoin I, Speaking on CNN on Monday, Saylor suggested that Bitcoin is a form of salvation for people suffering from rising prices and currency devaluations. Are you going to stay on a sinking ship or are you going to get on a lifeboat and be tossed about on the stormy sea, Saylor said, noting that Bitcoin. While reminding readers that no one can predict the future, Zhao told The Guardian that, I think given this price drop, from the all-time high of, USD, 68k to 20k now, it will probably take a while to get back. It probably will take a few months or a couple of years. According to the Binance boss, 20 US dollars, oh 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 is the day thought of as very low, although as recently as in 2018 and 2019 people would be very happy with such a price. If you look at the bottom, of Bitcoin, right now it's higher than the law. So, whether normal or not, I think with the industry still definitely growing, fluctuations in price is normal, Zhao said. Lastly, Max Raskin, an adjunct professor at New York University School of Law and director of research at Kvitsi Veeam Incorporated, said in an opinion piece in the Wall Street Journal on Wednesday that reports of Bitcoin's death have been exaggerated. For those who've followed Bitcoin since the beginning, the he was referring to the Bitcoin obituaries page by 99 Bitcoins, which keeps track of how many times the crypto has been declared dead by critics. With millions of dollars in speculation in non-fungible tokens, NFTs, initial coin offerings and obvious get-rich-quick schemes, it's easy to forget th.